The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, we're going to start out the day like we usually do, looking at the uh, German DAX. But before we do that, you can see the chart in the room, of course. But we're going to have uh, Norm Winsky as our guest uh, today at 930. And then on Friday, we will have Tom Hugard, who's on vacation, but still going to come in and chat with us. And on Thursday, we might have a special guest. I'm working on it this morning, and we'll see if we can get him on. It'll be a mystery guest. Of course, I will I will dissolve, devolve the mystery tomorrow, but uh, right now, it's still uh, sort of uh, up in the air. As you can see here, the German DAX has been in a downtrend. Uh, we stopped this morning, I, this was done at about two hours ago, so I don't know if we went, made it down to that last ABCD pattern or not. But of course, when the tweet came out this morning, the, the S&P immediately rallied uh, 17 handles. And uh, it's really uh, been a heck of a run there, and it just keeps rallying. Anytime anybody tweets, and as I mentioned, folks, I have these tweets in advance. So if you would like to get those before they come out, you know, be sure to call me at 555 five 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 extension five and we'll be able to sign you up it's uh, one dollar a month but uh, it's been working pretty good recently but who knows how long it's going to last as you recall we want to look at the um, you don't really recall but I do let's take a look at the footsie you'll see that it did make the bottom line here uh, make the bottom pattern and you'll be able to get up here and take a look at it you'll see we look like we made a double bottom here and of course with the news coming out I don't know if the tweets affect those markets but I guess they affect one after the other because anytime someone sees a market run they panic and that's that's the way shorts are supposed to do so that's pretty much going on. I'll cover the gold and silver uh, in just a little bit, but we hit major support yesterday in the gold. We talked about it quite a bit. And, of course, we have that big, big, big cycle up in the sky shining down on us, and the full moon comes in on the, uh, the 13th of December, but it's starting now. If you're uh, anywhere near the southwest, my gosh, it's just absolutely, it's like a giant uh, light up there, uh, you know, fog, not a fog light, but a headlight just shining all over the desert. No, no rain tonight. A little snow in the mountains uh, up above us here, a few thousand feet, but other than that, it looks it looks pretty good. So you can see the DAX and you can see the FTSE. Now, let's discuss where we were yesterday when we were talking about the uh, natural gas. I posted this uh, in the room here so that you folks could uh, take a look at it. And I'm going to update to you to see exactly what it did. This is what we did. Uh, uh, it was posted about, well, right about 930 because that was about the end of the show. And I'll put, you'll get up and you'll see that uh, it followed uh, pretty nicely. You'll notice I said to watch that time around 1115. And you can see it around 1115 to 1145. We were down around that 220 level. We stayed there most of the day. I mean, it didn't really do very much but and then you can see we finally went up and we made the high up there at uh, 225 that sets up a positive day for today in natural gas so sort of keep an eye on that and we'll uh, we'll look at that uh, one at a time so we'll see uh, <laughs> I was going to do something crazy real crazy here but I'm not going to do that let's move here uh, to the next one that we want to look at and that here is the treasury notes as you know we have the the boys from Washington today are going to be doing their thing at the Federal Reserve the next two days. And if we take a look here uh, at this uh, Treasury note chart, uh, you can see that it has bearish bias, folks. Uh, the reason why, if you'll notice back in August when we made that uh, three drive to a top pattern and open interest was dropping, that was on uh, August the uh, 28th. 
We came down, we stopped right at the 78% level of the C leg of that big ABCD leg, and we had a nice rally for two weeks. It ended last week. Uh, it was right just a little bit below the 50% level at 0.48, and now we've come down and we have uh, gone below the 61% of that move. So this is setting up for a potential D leg down here at the uh, 125.19. I am of the opinion that the interest rate situation has changed after. After the bottom that was made on August the 9th of 1982, that we're now in a, uh, a bear market. The actual high of this market, of course, was, was a year and a half ago with the futures. However, the Fed funds and those things have continued to go to try to make negative interest rates. But that's what I'm looking at as I watch these things uh, over over the last period of time. The other one that we need to pay attention to was the hog market. We were chatting with uh, Ruby and Mr. Z uh, about the hogs yesterday. And uh, the hogs, uh, they're just not acting very good at all, folks. I'll get the uh, hogs up. You'll be able to see that they've, uh, this was as of uh, just uh, uh, a, a, a day ago. So let's get up here and take a look at it. You'll see that they're actually selling off again. The hogs are sick. You're right, Amia, uh, uh, Maria. That that shallow rally that you're looking there, that, that if you're bullish something, you got to be a little scary. That's why if you're bullish gold, you got to be a tiny bit scared because we're not really rallying very much. We've had a rally. We got a low of um, 1463.90, okay? And we've been able to rally up to roughly 1473, 1472 and change. So we rally about nine or ten dollars. We've got to get gold up about fourteen or fifteen dollars to even get anybody's attention. But it's got it's got the possibility of doing that. Now let's look at uh, let's look at one of the, since we're moving faster than I wanted to, let's move up and take a look at that one of the markets that's related to the gold market, and that's the old platinum market. And we'll get that up here. Oh, please tell me I have that platinum market. Oh no, I give up. What did I do? I must have deleted it. I couldn't have deleted it. Yep. I did shut the front door and raise the rent. All right, I want to cover one other one here that I think is relatively important. Give me a break here. Get this up and you'll see here, this is the, well, this is into the Forex realm, but it's going to be related to the news. Just give me one second here, folks. Um, Okay, Mr. Z, is, is there any market you are trading actively this week? Uh, well, the two that I watch. I watch gold. I try to trade it every day. Crude oil, I look at it, but I'm actually, I'm in, uh, I'm in holiday mode. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm actually in holiday mode for a couple of reasons. One is I've been under a little bit of. Uh, uh, vitamin D deficiency, which is really was really very very low, and so that makes your energy level, you know, go really really slow. And so I've been able to sleep. I mean, I'm actually sleeping for the first time in years. I mean, I'm sleeping. Well, last night was a little little sparse, but I still slept six hours last night. To me, that's like a 12 hour. But I've been sleeping seven and eight hours, and over the weekend I slept nine and a half hours. I'm taking vitamin D. I'm taking um, 50,000 units um, three times a week, along with uh, fat. Some some uh, you either 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 drink it with milk or or ice cream. And plus, I'm, I've got some other vitamins that they've given me the uh, that are they're actually killing you know. So I'm taking 10 times that. Uh, but right now I'm. Uh, I'm really deficient, so it's, I hate. Let's forget about that. I'm all right. It's okay. Anyway. Uh, uh, what were we talking about, boys and girls? Oh, the platinum. Gosh darn, this platinum really looks pretty good. Let's get, get this platinum chart up and take a look at it because I have it I have it from the uh, the newsletter. And we'll be right back after we pay a few bills. 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, I think I have posted the uh, chart of the platinum up here. I believe I did. Uh, let's double check here. I think I did. Uh, I did, I did, I did. Yes. Okay, take a look at this chart for platinum, folks. Uh, it's acting very, very bullish. It's a trade. Hold on one second. I've got a message coming in here from, from TFNN. Let's see what it is. Okay, uh, you'll, you'll see here the platinum looks really bullish compared to silver and the gold, uh, and it's moving good today it's uh, it's jumped up quite a bit so the the key to the gold market folks as we talked about yesterday was that 78 percent well we might as well bring it up and let the folks take a look at it in real time because that's what it's all about here at tfnn let's get it up here and we will be ready to go and there we go we'll get it up here so we'll be able to take a look very simple as you look here you'll be able to see here that uh we stopped. You'll see that 78% level, folks. That came in at 1463.90, and that was the low that we made. I think it went 10 cents below it. We've since since that level, we've been able to rally about uh, nine dollars. That's all we needed this thing to get above above 1480. We need, needed to get above that high at 1481. That's up about 14 dollars uh, from the low, almost 20 dollars from the low. So. If we get above that, then you've got a chance to get this thing moving. Otherwise, it's still got a chance to moving to the downside. You see the charts that we've posted for silver uh, during this time, and you'll you'll notice it's doing the same thing, only silver has actually looked uh, a whole lot worse because if you take a look at the silver chart, you'll be able to see here that silver has broken down, you know, quite badly. And, you know, it hasn't rallied very much after taking out. We took out those lows of November. But the good thing is, is it didn't 
it didn't collapse. And we were thinking there's a possibility there at 16.39 an ounce that silver might hold. That's the 61% retracement of the low, you know, back in May. Now stop and think, folks. We've got gold setting at the uh, just a little bit below the 382 level. Okay, we got platinum heading to the upside, and we got silver lagging. So silver is the the wicked stepsister here. But remember, silver could when it starts to go, it can really go. So remember that. One other key thing, because we've pointed this out quite a few times. Look at the top of the chart. You'll see $19.75. 75 cents per ounce was the 78 percent on the weekly chart. When that was happening, you remember that open interest was dropping at that point. That's not a good sign, folks, because that means the buyers have left the restaurant. The restaurant is not serving good quality food. And then, of course, the market's been in there. And we've got these two large ABCD patterns that could get down here at 1540. And here we are at the end of the year. Those of you that have been with us for a long time, you'll notice, and we're going to be, the newsletter this weekend will be will be talked about uh, seasonals and uh, we're going to have some uh, new things coming up for our 24 7 subscribers we're going to be doing some option things we're going to be doing selling options we're not going to be buying options we're going to be selling options and in a way of you know getting into the market we get this information from my friend john jameson who's working very closely with me on a couple of different projects and then also uh, we are looking to do some uh, information on seasonals which we will cover uh, in the newsletter uh, this week which should be pretty good. Uh, I like the quote here by David White from uh, Linda Radzke. It says, all you need is one pattern to make a living. Boy, you're absolutely correct. You know, you certainly, all you have to do, whether it's, a, you can pick whatever you want. My, actually, my favorite pattern of all, folks, is the, uh, the butterfly or the three drive pattern. And the reason why I like those so much is because you're at the moment of truth and it either stops there or you know you're gone it's just that uh, it's just that quick and the probabilities of winning on those are usually pretty good so we'll see I like the quote here from Bruce Kovner. I remember Bruce Kovner when he was trading out of the office of Conti Commodities back in 1968 and 69. They were trading forex currencies. Back in those days, folks, you had to have a million dollar balance in the account and it was all traded through the bank. The futures, there were no futures for this. It was all done by interbank. So you had to have your, your million dollars placed with the bank. And of course, in 1972, they got the biggest birthday present that you could ever have is when uh, President Nixon took us off the gold standard. He basically took us off the Bretton Woods Agreement for 1944, and that sent everything into the sky. And then right after that, we had the Russian grain robbery, r roughly the same time. So a lot of things were happening. And that's what started the big inflationary spiral that Mr. Volcker, who passed away yesterday, uh, took care of through uh, his, the president, Jimmy Carter, uh, at that time. Okay, let's move on to another one that I wanted to uh, chat about here for just a second. We've covered the silver. We've covered the platinum. And what was the other one that I wanted to cover? Shut the front door and raise the rent. Let's, let's look at, oh, boy, I can't remember. I write it down and doggone it. Just remember, folks, this is Fed time today. So you expect, well, how can you have any more volatility than, thir you know, 30 points in the S&P and uh, 60 points in the NASDAQ? So it started, started volatility. So, you know, anything could uh, usually happen. But, uh all right, the main thing that we ought to cover here, let's just a second here. We got Norm coming up in, in just a moment. I just want to make sure I haven't missed any of the charts. I covered, oh, I didn't cover the British pound yet. Got to cover the, this is one that's very important. Okay, we got an election coming in here. In, uh, in London, okay, and uh, the copper, yes, I'll cover the copper for you, Marshall. Copper looks to be uh, going higher. It looks like it's broken out to the upside, but let's, uh, let's take a quick look here at the British pound because this is a 15-minute chart over the last five or six days, but folks, there's an election coming here, and I think Boris Johnson is supposed to win, but if we can get this thing just a little bit higher, now we backed off a little bit from this earlier price here, but there's a possibility 
that we could reach this 130 uh, to 15 level. And that's uh, this is a remember this is a 15 minute chart, so it only covers the last three or four days. But on the daily chart, there's a big number up there. So that's what we'll be watching to see that this is the kind of three drive to a pattern uh, that I'd like to see. I'm basically I'm long the British pound in here, and I, I've got a little bit of a, a edge in it right now. But I still think we're going to get to that D level, which is 132.136 or 132.15. So uh, that's what I'm watching here uh, in the British pound. The euro is holding up relatively well, but frankly, you know, some of these currencies are acting a little different. Now, currencies act crazy around the first of the year. They always have. So that's one of the reasons why we're going to be looking at some seasonals here uh, in the newsletter, you know, over the weekend, because it's going to be uh, relatively uh, important. Now we have to cover the copper for Mr. Marshall. Then we'll get on with our good friend, Norm Winsky, who calls it like it is. And we'll get the old copper up here. Where are you? Copper, 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 copper. It's up here. Copper, copper, here it is. Okay, and here we go. I still think we're heading higher uh, in the copper, uh, Marshall. If you'll take a look at it, uh, you'll see here. Marshall, you shouldn't have been here yesterday, buddy. We had some rain that would have scared you. Oh, my goodness. We had uh, tremendous thunderstorms and a lot of rain. Uh, uh, I sense a slash. <laughs> it's actually, uh, Maria, it's 1.32136. 1891275. That's the exact number, which is the square root of nothing. Who loves you, baby? We're going to talk to Norm, the man Winsky from Astro Trends in just about four minutes after this message from our sponsors. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that we'll even 
and give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Norm Winsky on the line from Astro Trend. Norm, are you there? Yes, sir, Larry. Hear you loud and clear. All right, I'm going to turn over the mic. It's your show, my friend. Okay, thank you very much. So I'm going to be going reviewing some charts. I thought I'd go back about two weeks. We had some huge stuff happen right around just before Thanksgiving, and we'll be looking at those charts so we can learn something. And I'll be talking about... I do three categories of planetary activity. Everything's based on the planets here. And that's geocentric from the looking at the solar system from the point of view of the Earth. Geo is Latin for Earth. Uh, heliocentric, that's the helio is from the Greek for sun. So we'll be looking at the heliocentric will be from the point of view of the sun. And we have what's called a natal chart for the U.S. That's based on when something began or was born. I believe the U.S. Uh, was uh, founded on July the 4th, 1776. And we look at the, the, the planets now in relation to where the planets were on that date. And believe it or not, that works pretty well for U.S. financials, such as U.S. stocks, uh, T-bonds, and the dollar. Okay, so looking ahead here now, we had back on the 20, morning of the 26th of November, we had a new moon in Sagittarius. And we we'll round up the usual suspects. We have financials. Be looking at financial grains, precious metals, stocks, and oats. Not going to look at the oats today. This is the same time because nobody trades them. Uh, then the, the right next to that, like the next that night, we had the 26th after the close. We had Neptune and Pisces uh, turn direct, and that's going to be your oil and stocks. The stocks, you keep in mind that the uh, each commodity is associated with uh, usually one planet and one sign sometimes maybe more and uh, but the stocks are the big basket of everything and they are they respond to just about everything all right well let's look at some charts oh and then with third we had the on the night the afternoon of the december 2nd we had geocentric jupiter that's from the point of view of the earth uh, enter the sign capricorn and there we go and we're going to be focused on these markets here because they are either either uh, directly uh, affected by Capricorn or at a key angle. So ca cattle, coffee is our primary one, cotton, silver, stock, sugar, and wheat. So let's look at the cattle now. Jupiter is going into, uh, uh, went into Capricorn, and there you go. And we were one day off there on the top for the cattle. There you go. There's the 2nd of December, and then we went down. Coffee did not work on the geo on the uh, geocentric uh, Jupiter going to Capricorn, and that's ironic because that's the the main Capricorn is the sign for coffee. But here's a little side note, not covered in there my official window here, but back here on October the 18th, one day from the big low, that was heliocentric Jupiter going into Capricorn. So don't throw out the <laughs> Capricorn three for coffee yet, you know right? Uh, that we don't hit everyone 100 percent you know all right here's corn we had the moon on the 26th and we were one day early to that bottom there uh, here's your cotton that was pretty good there's your uh, jupiter going in the capricorn on the second and the next day we make a very nice low on cotton and move up here's the gold we'll be looking at the moon here uh, your precious metals go with the moon and there we had a nice low there in the gold. Here's the silver was a double uh, double dipper. We had two things hitting the silver. We had the moon, and then we had a little short one to two day low there, and then it came back for Jupiter going into Capricorn. Uh, the Capricorn is opposite Cancer, which is silver. That's I should have mentioned how that works and why these other markets are related to Capricorn. This cotton and cattle are Taurus. And that's 120 degrees from Capricorn. So you also look at the key angles from the key main sign. Here's another moon thing, OJ. 
made its top right there on the moon. It was one day, one day early. It went a few ticks higher next day before it rolled over and had a nice drop. Here's your soybeans. That's Virgo. And so there's your moon. Did not work very well for the moon. Kept going down, but did make it slow on Jupiter in Capricorn. That's 120 degrees from Virgo. And then it made a low. So this is why it's good to not only know the moon. The moon works a high percentage of the time, but sometimes uh, bigger things over uh, power the moon. Uh, and so then you need to know about those too. Here's wheat. Wheat is uh, Libra uh, green. And so Jupiter in Capricorn is 90 degrees from Libra. And so we'll be able to watch when that happens. And here's your moon. Of course, the moon for the greens. There you had a tiny little short-term top there. Pull back, and then the big top was right here when Jupiter, as off at about a day when Jupiter entered Capricorn there in early the 2nd of December, as the top was on the, looks like on the 29th of the Friday, which was a Friday, which was Friday, which Friday, try again, which was Friday. There we go, I'll get it out. And here's one of the more dramatic ones was the crude oil. Oil is Neptune. Neptune turned direct. You probably heard about me talking about plants going direct and retrograde. This is one of my top things, and Neptune turned retrograde, and that's oil. And look, we made the almost perfect top right there on Neptune turning direct, and then boom, dropped about, I think about four handles there in about two days. <clears throat> Here's your S&P. We had three big uh, windows here. Uh, the moon didn't do much, so I'm going to count that as a miss. That's a red arrow as a miss. Then we went up and made a top on the... Uh, Let's see, that was on the, uh, the second one was my Neptune. Oh, yeah, then the Neptune will turn direct. That was the top for the S&P. I don't think we, yeah, we haven't taken that top out yet. And then we went down and made a low when Jupiter went into Capricorn. And the next day, it took about a day, turned on the third. There we go. So that was pretty good. Uh, here's your bonds. They turn, turned right on the moon. Right there, there's your moon. And they, I think that was right there that day and here's your dollar index is kind of uh, a little iffy in terms of getting an exact uh, we made a top there we made a, we went a few ticks higher the next day pulled back a little bit when one little spike i think it went about 20 cents higher there before it dropped like a, a whole handle into uh early december and now Oh, I thought you might want to see how my planetary index, my version of the Bradley model, is doing. Here's November. Here's the blue line. I do this weeks in advance of the month. Started on October the 28th here and ended on November 29. Uh, the blue line I drew by hand in advance, the uh, weeks in advance, adding up the planetary values. Then overlay the S&P 500 uh, uh, 10 minute bar chart on top of that. See what the correlation is. And, that worked out pretty well. These are different planetary, major planetary events happening during the course of the month. There's your full moon. There's your new moon, so forth. All right, moving ahead. Here's what's happening coming up. So we have a, a huge cluster coming up here. We have the full moon tomorrow night, just after midnight, going into the 12th. And uh, uh, round up the usual suspects again. We'll be looking at you already got most of your charts up there. They already showed you financials, greens, precious metals, and stocks. What we want to see is you want to see the best markets are the ones that are at some kind of overbought or oversold extreme. If they're going sideways, probably don't do them. It's Newton's law for every action. There's an opposite equal reaction. And if it's going sideways, it's probably not going to be very good. So we'll go for commercial and come back. You bet. We'll be right back with Norm Linsky. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. 
That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger Fresh Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger Fresh Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're talking with Norm Winsky from Astro Trend. Norm, you want to continue, please? Yes, sir, Larry. So we were just talking about the full moon. Ow. <laughs> My, was that uh, a howl, Norm? Was that a howl? That was a howl. Yeah, wow! Trying... Very good, Norm. Are you doing creative, uh, artistic stuff down there in Florida for the for the theater? Is that what you're doing? Oh yes, yes. I'm. A, oh, it's, I'm working. A, yeah. it's working. Keep it up, my friend. <laughs> All right, a little dramatic uh, in that there, you know. And make sure you keep taking your medication. <laughs> there you go. Absolutely. So anyway, we have a big cluster coming up here with the things hitting the U.S. And so that'll be over the next several days, the 11th after the close means overnight. So between the 11th and the 12th, and then the 12th after the close into Friday the 13th. And then over the 13th weekend, we have several big things all happening to the U.S. So some probably big news is coming. Maybe the Chinese deal, the tariffs or whatever, all going to be a lot of news coming out here over the next several days for the U.S. probably. And there was another big one over the 13th weekend. And then here's a really interesting one coming up over the 13th weekend. We have uh, two, uh, what we, we might call two uh, uh, representations of Jupiter, 120 degrees of Uranus. This is going to be the geocentric one this weekend. About a week later, we'll get the heliocentric one. And uh, this is a, a big deal for copper in particular. I For my very first trade, Back in college there at Indiana State University, Larry, uh, after I stumbled on the Donald Bradley Stock Market Prediction Book, which I found in a bookstore, marked down to 10 cents, changed my life. I took a small inheritance that I had, and I plowed most of it into buying Anaconda Copper. It was one of the major copper companies at the time. It was had big, had big troubles, though, because this is 1972. During the 70s there, they had half the company taken over uh, by the uh, Allende in Chile, stole half their mines, and copper was in the toilet. So the, 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 anything that could go wrong had gone wrong with that company. It was very depressed. I wanted to buy it, and I bought it. And uh, looking at Jupiter and Uranus, uh, which is tied to the uh, 
40, uh, Bradley said was the 41 business cycle. I was very familiar with the 41 business cycle, having grown up in, in the scrap business. My family, the Winskis, go back several generations in the scrap biz. Grew up hearing from my father all about copper prices, and I decided it was time to buy a copper company, and that worked out really well because copper went from about 55 cents a pound back then to an all-time new high in 18 months to $1.41. And from that point on, every few years when Jupiter and Uranus lined up just right, I would buy copper, and it was like an annuity. For, it worked for about 20 years, made nice money. It looks like the Chinese kind of messed up the market there for a while when they were just emerging and buying up everything in sight. And so it looks like maybe we're back because the copper just had a huge move up. Actually, it bottomed back in September, 90 days. That was the old pattern. It would bottom about 90 days in advance of Jupiter Uranus. And so I think we could be making a top here in about a week or so, about a week, 10 days on the uh, on the copper. So the, we do have some room to go higher then in terms of time. All right, I'm going to move ahead. Now, I think that's uh, just about everything. Uh, we'll, we might have time for some questions, you know. So anyway, here's how to get a hold we of have, me. We have we have a question before you uh, give your commercial. We have a question. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, you you talk about the time a lot uh, uh, when you're when you're doing these. Uh, one of the questions that someone's asking from uh, out here in Wyoming is, what is your methodology for picking the price that you want to look at as time approaches? Uh, that's a great question, and the answer is I use Gans Gan principle that the key times will give you the key prices. So you don't have to, with my system, you don't have to predict price. You just wait for the right time. And you, you look at where you're at at that time, and there's that's your price. So whenever okay. the cycle culminates, there's your price. You don't have to worry about predicting price at all. If you want to li line that up with maybe you're at a Fibonacci you know, retracement or something like that or some key number, and th that's all the better. You know, that would be, uh, again, we call that, the squaring of time and price. Can you? The question is, how do you how do you do this? How does uh, where, where does the information for the squaring of the the price again? Is that something that you teach in your little course? It's yeah, your big course, I mean. I, I, okay. it, it's kind of so obvious, and you might have a trouble getting it. Look, back here when this this stuff was astrological happening, and it identifies a day. That's your key price wherever the market goes. Okay. Currently, so, you know, he, he has one other question before he goes out to take care of his cattle in about okay. four feet of snow. Uh, do you have something current that is looking there where time and price would be coming up uh, today? Well, we don't. I don't pre really predict price that much. I don't have to. I'm going to uh, simplify this so I don't have to work so hard. You know, so you just look at these uh, planetary uh, uh, events and you wait till you get to that time and you look at the market and say, oh, look, the market's at a high or a low. And that's it. There's your price. You let the market do the calculations for you. You don't have to predict it in advance. You don't need to know where the price is until it's time to trade. Since now, let's have your commercial. Okay. So here's my contact information. I offer free classes. I'll teach you how to day trade in 30 minutes. And I also have the uh, swing trading class. And all you got to do is contact me. I'm here in sunny Florida. Naples, Florida. There's my phone, 239-594-3939. My email's kind of long, so you might want to check the printed version here. And let's get embark with a Q in the middle, mail.com. And you can contact, call me from all over the world for free and on Skype at nwinski underscore one. That's N-W-I-N-S-K-I underscore one. So any other questions or anything? Uh, I don't think so, but we want to wish you a very happy holiday. And I think Hanukkah starts on, what, the 22nd uh, this year? Sounds about right. That's right. Well, happy Hanukkah, and we'll have you back right after the first of the year, Norman. Okay, and thank you. You're working there toward the end of the month? I'm going to be doing as little as possible, my son, as little right. as possible. Because, you know, we are going to have a solar eclipse, so right? Uh, yep, that's I think, right. Uh, Right it's after Christmas, the, sir. It's the day after Christmas. So, well, if I'm around, we'll uh, we'll try to have you on. How's that? Sounds good. Okay. Thanks for having Thank me on, Larry. I hope, hope they'll be able to help some of your folks. Call me right away. All right. Thank you very much. Norm Winsky, folks, out of uh, Naples, Florida. 
Okay, we've got one more minute before we get to the uh, to the final break here. Let's have a couple more comments here about gold. Uh, we were able to rally ten dollars now, folks. We got up to fourteen seventy three, almost. Well, it was exactly well, it was nine dollars and ninety cents. And now we're trading just a few bucks, three dollars below that. So this is a very, very shallow rally in the gold, much like we've seen in the hogs. This is not bullish for gold. Uh, Silver is doing pretty much the same thing. Platinum is looking okay, but uh, that's uh, that's neither here nor there. So we want to pay, you know, relatively close attention to that as we as we watch this stuff unfold. So we'll watch it uh, very, very closely. Remember, we're one tweet away from another 40 or 50 point move, and, and if we didn't have anything else to to factor into your trading today is today is fed day so that's around two o'clock to 215 and mr powell will be out there uh, telling us how wonderful things are and uh, which they are we live in a pretty pretty good country over here and it's got a lot of problems but certainly a lot better than other places that's the way i look at it so let's keep that under our uh, under our feathers to uh help ourselves um, through this holiday season and also try to we're gonna i'm not gonna give you a commercial about being good to other people that should be that should be second nature to us we're gonna take a little break here in just a minute we'll be right back to wrap things up I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best in everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best in what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. OK, 
Okay, we're back, folks, and I just want to remind everybody that it's Fed Day. This is the second time I've reminded you, and I'm sure you're going to be reminded several more times. But you run into a lot of volatility because people uh, don't have orders setting in there as the Fed is doing something. And then after they do something, there's all kinds of things. So make sure you plan your day and stick to it. That's the way I would look at it. We've had some nice moves here uh, in soybeans and corn, just like we, we were expecting moves in soybeans, of course. That had a very, very, uh, really nice pattern in soybeans. And, of course, the corn is, has held up uh, relatively well, too. So I think that uh, we've got a chance here. If you'll take a look here, this is what we were thinking was going to happen uh, in the beans this week. And as you can see, we've um, we've actually exceeded some of these levels already in the March soybeans. We were down there at that 61% retracement down there at 888. And now we're trading you know, substantially above that. So I still think we've got more to go. Um, uh, Maria, why would you be closing your short S&P and the short NASDAQ with bonds being down? I guess you're thinking that the, they go together. But, you know, they go together certain periods of time, but sometimes they go up and down together. So, let well, Maria, I'm the one to be talking about you because, because you know exactly what you're doing, Princess. Wait, I'm getting a message here. Oh, here, it's coming in. It says, Larry, shut your mouth. <laughs> you're right, Maria. I should never have said anything like that. But I, you know, I do look at that, but I, I actually don't. Uh, I, when I'm doing something, folks, I put the chart that I'm looking at up on the screen and the rest of it, I don't, uh, I don't, uh, I don't look at it because I don't want to see these intermarket relationships that people talk about because I frankly have not seen them, how it's going to work. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, and we had Norm on today. Tomorrow we're going to have uh, Bill Chapman on. He's going to be a new guest for us. Hopefully it's going to be him either Wednesday or Thursday. I'll have Bill on. He does some timing stuff for the S&P that's pretty good. And then on Friday we're going to have Miss. Trader Tom. Tom Hugard will be our guest again uh, for Friday. And Monday, I will not be uh, here. I will be very busy Monday. I'm not able to, uh, to be on the show Monday, but all next week I will be after Monday. So we'll talk to you later, folks. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Mm -hmm.